but I was just informed here a little while ago by a phone call that we've got three more days left of work here. They let us know around the first of the month that they were going to open up this work for, for bids. Heard that before. Exactly a year ago, I lost a job there from underbidding. So they let us know that they were going to open it up for bids and we knew that there was two other companies bidding on it, two other companies that have done the work and, and that's that's what we knew. And, uh, come to find out, we'd all bid about the same thing, the company I worked for and the other two companies, but there was a mysterious other company somehow bid on there that they never told anybody about. And they say that their bid was half what everybody else was. Um, I don't buy that it was half, but that's what they say and that, that's who they decided to go with. But they're spo supposed to let us know by the end of next week uh, if we had the bid or not. And we were supposed to work until the 1st of April, which would be a couple more weeks. But they let us know today, which is Thursday, that uh, Monday the new company would be taking over. So that's the way it goes, I guess. Uh, these oil companies... You know, they're just looking for the cheapest company they can get in here to do the work or what looks the cheapest on paper, I guess. Not not quality, nothing like that. They just want the bottom dollar. Um, a lot of people are seeing this, not just the trucking in the oil field, all these rigs getting stacked and everything else. They just don't want to spend any money right now and it's at everybody else's mercy. So all of us oil field workers are pretty much going to be sitting at home trying to get jobs with other companies doing other stuff and there's going to be a lot of people looking for these jobs. I did just hear that Wyoming got, I don't know if it's their biggest uh, uh, decrease in, or increase in unemployment, but it's like a record or something that they, they have right now and that's what it is. It's these oil companies going broke, uh, laying people off, getting people to do it cheaper and I, I don't understand how they they figure they can get somebody to do it even cheaper than what they're getting for most of the time because you know what what our rates are and what I make and after maintenance and paying myself and so I can pay my bills and uh, paying for fuel and that kind of thing it don't leave a whole lot of money left so so I guess I'll finish out this week and Take the truck home and get some work done on it. See if I can find a job. <laughs>